Hello, and yes, my hair is a little weird right now because I forgot to charge my clippers. And I said, well, while I gotta wait, we gonna get Poto Mac out the way and so y'all will have something funny to look at. I said, you know what? You know what, I don't care if it's a little patch. <laughs> I mean, it just went zzz, zzz, zzz. And then I charged it for a couple minutes and then went zzz, zzz, zzz. I was like, look, I need to get this done. Cause we gotta get to the Oscar fashion review. So we open with this new heifer and Candace at some beauty spa for a hey now, hey now, Brazilian wax. Oh, Wendy gonna get a little laser hair removal too. So Wendy getting ready to film her pilot. However, Wendy and Candace apologize to the new heifer for not checking up on her. I'm sorry, it's too late for me to learn her name. Kiera, Klarna, K-pop. Meanwhile, across town. Aw, Grace is heading off to college. Sharissi drops by Rob the Throbs and Ashley pops her forehead in too. Oh goodness, Sharissi, I don't believe you turned down a vaginal massage. I don't. I think you gave him a tip for his tip. And ain't nothing wrong with it. But then Sharissi says she gonna do another crab boil and invite me as enemy number one. Sharissi trying to start mess. Sharissi, why don't you bring some of your own mess on the show rather than just start other people's? Giselle drives by Karen's and they're actually getting along. Y'all ain't really gonna compliment Giselle's stovepipe legs. Y'all really gonna play in our face like that. Okay, Huffers. Okay. So Karen ain't going to the crab boil. She gonna say Ray's allergic. Girl, boom. No, just go on and say you're allergic to Sharissi. I think she gives me hives too. Child Candace walks in. Rob runs out. Scurrying like a rodent. Rob, running off like this is the technical definition of bitch made, isn't it? What in the don't a summer hell? This is don't a summer right here. This is don't a summer. Oh, that's Sharice's son walking them to the door. Okay, I didn't know she had a son. I only heard about the daughter. So Mia walks into Jacqueline cussing her out. As the crabs boil. Why do they keep cutting to the shot of the crabs going in? Wait a minute, ain't no Obey in the crab. So Mia and Jacqueline go downstairs to suss their shit out. And Mia says she had just had enough. So they suss it out downstairs. But upstairs, Mia brings up the fact that Candace and Rob the Throb are on the outs. Oh, Rob the Throb apparently shared some private messages from Candace to try to make her look crazy. Candace, the way you say a blogger and a podcast host, like you don't promote your little city winery tours on blogs and podcasts. You shared a private conversation with a podcaster. A podcaster. Now Sharissi screaming, stop it, stop it. Oh my God, Sharissi, everybody like, okay, we, we get it. You, you just look like an old drunk fool. Well, that's what you are. So Candace and her crying will leave after Sharissi has her outburst. All righty, well, that was the shit. So I'm gonna see you soon for something. So since the show only gave us three minutes of content, for the next five minutes, we will be discussing things that are as large as Ashley Darby's forehead. For example, this spotlight at my friend's house is wider than Ashley Darby's forehead. This beautiful San Francisco view, this is actually the size of Ashley Darby's forehead. Look at that view, that, that is the only time with this kind of panorama that you can really compare and contrast Ashley Darby's head. And this still is just neck and neck. It's just literally neck and neck. A school bus, I would say, is also the size of Ashley Darby's forehead. Now, I want to know in her new home, did she have the doors widened? Did it hurt? even more when you had children because, I mean, they have your forehead. Or was it I kind of able to, you know, squeeze out like a, like a watermelon rather than coming through hard with that, that school bus forehead that you have? Why don't you rent out advertising space on it since you think that your coop could connive you out of the coin? You could always rent out advertising space on that forehead. You've got it in spades. I mean, you could do dead center for something really expensive or just, you know, something near the hairline that's small just to keep the mortgage paid. Ashley, your future could be a lot more solid than you think. When you think about Ashley's forehead, does the expression wide is all outside come to mind? What makes you think about Ashley Darby's forehead? An open field? 
a football stadium, a school bus. I'd love you to let me know down in the comments. What makes you think about Ashley's head? Sometimes it's wide open space for me or a big wide foot. I could see a big wide foot reminding me of Ashley's forehead because you got all that space with those wrinkles. I can see that too. The moon. The moon also could be reminiscent of Ashley's forehead. It's bulbous, shiny, and always inserting itself in somebody's business. And we know how things can get on a full moon. So maybe her forehead waxes and wanes with her level of drama. When she's at a full forehead, she's giving us full drama, but sometimes she waxes and wanes, give us, and she'll give us a little less. Ashley Darby's forehead. A large cookie. Because Ashley Darby loves to celebrate, and I could see her being one of those big party cookies. And sometimes she has some uh, little pimples on there, so those could be the chocolate chips. What else makes me think of Ashley Darby's forehead? Head budding, because that's such a large, strong space. I mean, you could really get like that patchy set the source, and you know. Just, mm. So I would also say that that dinosaur with that, the, the patchy cephasaurus, I'm going to put a picture of it up. That also reminds me of Ashley's forehead because Ashley's head is hard. And she always trying to start something. Remember when she was putting her finger in Robin's face? She gets that bulb to moving. Also a light bulb. A light bulb definitely reminds me of Ashley's forehead along with Drea's head shape in general. See, Drea caught a stray. What else? makes me think of Ashley Darby's forehead. Cantaloupe and watermelon. Not the regular watermelons that are oblong, but the basketball size watermelon. That definitely gives Ashley Darby's forehead. Mm -hmm. Santa's belly as well, because it's rotund and round and thick, like with Ashley's head, very thick. I could see that too, this is interesting. All the things that make you think of Ashley Darby's forehead. Then again, we could go on about all of the things that make Rob Dixon a failure. Don't nobody want to hear that. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Stop clocking my pussy miles. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This ain't your odometer. Not your odometer. Not your odometer. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Now you know I can only rhyme foot with foot. And I know that my man's goose goose is cooked. And in jail, he got book, 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 book. And I'm scared of Meg, cause my spot she took, my spot she took. So foot for foot, foot, foot for foot. I'm a common on your feet with the dirty seat. Foot! I got a red foot, yellow foot, pink foot too. I'm gonna turn your red foot now blue. I got more feet and colors than a Dr. Seuss. Because you know that I think Megan is a fool. I let the six footy hottie rap on me, cause I go home to my prison booty. I like a man who's had his ass tapped rather than a heifer whose feet were zapped. Foot, 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 foot.